We're gonna take it a long way back in, in a, a short, short time. time. What's going on guys? I'm Justice Warnstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be out here in the shop. You can see Aftermath right there behind me. Uh, we will be putting this motor back together, getting it ready because Friday we are heading down to Bradenton Motorsports Park for another test session on 275s. We also will have Mike Starvino's, you know, speed and truck world heading up here with the 69 Camaro. He will be testing with us as well because in two weeks we are heading to Darlington, South Carolina, boys. If y'all ain't got nothing going on, y'all stop by the track, pick up some merchandise, come hang out with the crew, and just have an all-around good time. But we're going to be up there running the Lemon 28-inch class and the Pro 275 class. So let's go ahead and jump in this video real quick, and let's get things popping. All right, guys, so if you've seen previous videos, you know that we had Tour Motor up over in Orlando Speed World the previous race, had to go ahead and replace number one, and we also had a couple other holes over on the driver's side that were smoking. So we went ahead and tore it down, and as we tore it down, we went ahead and took the other side off too just to make sure there were no issues because this motor did need rings. Uh, a lot of y'all asked, why does it need rings in the first seven to ten hits? Well, we had a couple backfires starting this thing up. Anyways, boys, like I was saying, we're going to be throwing this motor back together. Me and Dad, we slapped the heads on it last night. We got the pistons and rods in it the night before, but uh, I'm going to go through real quick, retorque the heads down one more time, and then we'll get our rocker stands all cleaned up, get them put on the motor, push rods, rocker arms, get everything in, and the last and final piece, we will go ahead and slap the intake on. All right, boys, so it seems to be that y'all are loving the longer video. So I'm gonna continue to keep bringing them to y'all. We're gonna try to shoot for 20 plus minutes every video from this day forward. I'm gonna hope to see if I can get that out there for y'all. But I was looking at my analytics and there's like 54% of y'all that watches the videos that are not subscribed to the channel. I need y'all to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I need y'all to turn the bell notifications on. Keep sharing it with your friends. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, boys. We're gonna get there. I think we just hit 33, four, 33, five. So we're getting closer and closer, but let's go ahead and keep on growing. I'm bringing y'all some awesome content. The LS motor is coming together nicely. It got a lot of people on board with this thing. I also have something in store for y'all. I was doing a job over in Spring Hill, Florida, and I seen a dragster on the side of the road, a dragster. I've been doing the job the last couple of days. I've been seeing it the last couple of days. I finally got a hold of the dude. I'm supposed to go look at it Friday. I've never been in one. I want to see what it's like. I might possibly buy it just to be able to bring it onto the channel and uh, have a good time with it. It doesn't run, so it's just another thing for us to be able to figure out, me and you together, figure out how we can get it fired up and get it out to the track. All right, guys, so I'm out here by myself, so I apologize if the camera's a little far away, just trying to get the footage for y'all, but we're gonna go through, we're gonna torque these heads real quick. So these nuts that are on these studs, they get torqued. First torque is at 60 pounds, second torque is at 75. We did that yesterday. These are new head gaskets on here. So what me and dad do is we let them sit for 24 hours and then we go through and we retorque them again. So I'm gonna set the torque wrench back at 75 pounds, go through, most likely some of them are gonna be loose. That's okay though. We're gonna get them torqued down and then we're gonna keep on moving over to the rocker stand. So let's get this thing set up. So that one right there is a little bit loose. As you can see, most of them are clicking on time, but that one's a little loose, we got it set up. So how we torque the heads is we start in the center and we move our way out. So I start in the center, I go to the left side, go back to the right side, go back to the left side, go back to the right side. It torques the head down evenly. We're gonna knock the four studs out on the bottom, then we're gonna go over and do that side real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the parts and get this thing slapped together. Thank you. 
Man, them four bottom studs down there, I don't know if y'all can see these four, they are a pain in the tail to get to, but that's why I was a little afraid whenever I was down there torquing them, make sure my hand didn't slip off and go into one of these studs for the headers. Also, put bull horns on the car, boys. Had to cut this middle piece out, but we will be fabbing us a bar back around so we can get the front end mounted again, but we will be having bull horns on the car. Look at that. We're gonna be shooting some big mega flames this weekend. Zoomies? Bullhorns. All right, boys, so let's head over to the other side of the shop. As you can see, the other 959 you see, we still gotta tear it down. Look inside there, look how dirty that oil is. Ooh, we got big old fire everywhere. We gotta change some hoses. We gotta clean some stuff up. But I came over here because we got the parts washer in the shop now, works properly. Dad uh, spent some time, got that thing set up in here, got it hooked up. We got airlines, everything inside here to be able to work on stuff now. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna clean all the parts up. We're gonna smack it with some brake clean and then we'll go ahead and blow them all off and get them put on the car. should have a hundred percent pan back and go out there and lay us down a serious number all right guys so i want to show you all this side real quick because the other side i do got the rocker stand sitting inside the head but the rocker stand goes inside these bolt holes right here right there right there right there right there such a sort so if you look through there you can see some of them you can see daylight on the inside because that is where the intake runner goes through there's one there one there one there one there four bolt holes, four intake runners. So we gotta take this pipe dope right here, this is a little sealant, and we're gonna put it on those four bolts so it can seal those up. You don't have to put it on any of the other bolts because there's nothing to them. They're just a dead hole. But those do go all the way through. We have to be able to seal it up. So we're gonna go ahead, slap us some uh, pipe dope on there, and then go ahead and get them torqued down. All right guys, so now that we got our pipe dope on there, as you can see the stands, because we put the dope on these four intake runners, that is lubricant enough to be able to torque it down. So you always wanna make sure you have something on uh, the, the thread, the bolt or whatever to be able to torque it down. If not, you'll get an uneven torque, you'll get an inaccurate torque. But uh, so what we do is we just go through, we put oil down all the, uh, all the holes and then that's when we go ahead and torque them down. So I just take this little squirt gun I got right here Go through, spray some wool in there. Hell yeah. And now she's ready to be torqued down. And what we'll do is, same thing we do the head, we start from the center and we work our way to the outside.
So does Cody's glasses work better for you or you no, need yours back? Cody's fucking. <laughs> he's fucking things like here like wearing baggy drawers, man. They've been falling on my face all the time. Cody got me on that deal. <laughs> I seen Cody at lunch today. His worked perfect. Dude, <laughs> these ain't worth a broke dick. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the motor put together. Me and Dad, we spent all day today, got everything uh, put back in. I just finished putting the bottom pan on, got that all tightened down. As you can see, new bull horns are on the car. Got a special couple people over here real quick. They're going to help me modify some things so we can make sure they work and we're able to go to the track this weekend and throw out some serious blue flames. Uh, we also, guys, we need to have a talk with my team. They ain't been out here. It's only been me and dad out here putting this thing together. We're going to have us a little come to Jesus meeting, and I need y'all to have a come to Jesus meeting with them as well. Art, Eric, Tony, Big Country was out here with me. Brian, we got to get on their ass. They got to be out here too and along this whole entire process. So y'all go ahead. When you see them at the track next time, tell them to let them know that they got to have that ass out here. All right, boys. So as you can see, we got old Denny right behind me. What's up, Dennis? Zach? What's up, brother? So, everybody loved your video from over there at the house. I even had a few people hit me up about getting you some parts for the truck. And they want to see the F, what is it, 100? Yeah. There you go. It's getting put back together in a little mod. Why don't you go ahead and let them know, because I haven't been over there in the last couple of days. What was it, Sunday? What have you gotten complete on the Lamont? I got the rear end in it, um, four link bars, anti roll, um, the brake lines. Did you get the, the firewall in yet? The firewall, the fire system, the fuel tank, the radiator. Damn, you've been putting in some hours. Steering column, yes, sir. Some work over there. And he's a new one to the channel. He has not been on here yet. Why don't you come up in here and go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm scared. Come on, get I'm up scared. here. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time to be scared over here in this camp. Come on. This old, this old Peter Balls. Peter Balls, speed sack. There you go. Let them know. What's your signature move? We in the house. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. They're going to be over here because Dennis has to modify some things around the bullhorns. As you can see, I went ahead and just cut the bar out, but that's where the bullhorn comes out. We're going to go ahead and modify it around, make us some new rods, and then we got to get the front end on, cut the front end out so we can go ahead and uh, get everything situated. Once we get that 100% done, the only thing else that we have to do is put oil inside this thing and fire it up. I cannot wait to hear what it sounds like firing it up through these bullhorns, but we're almost ready. All right, nut set. Go ahead and let them know what you got planned over here. Well, we're fixing to bend this quarter inch chrome molly tubing on this bench grinder. Don't they make tools to bend bars? Yeah, but... Mm, we ain't got that. No, we, hey, we're going to take it a long way back in, in a short time. time. <laughs> Let's get it. All right. Got some old schools up in here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I really did not think that thing would have bent that. Oh, yeah. That is crazy. It's like a Conyo Somatis mm -hmm. with a G Money Cone. With a two tree box. Oh, Pretty yeah. Much. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to do it, guys. That's better than smoke. Do you think we need to hit up our uh, our shock builder? Does he need to know about our special package we got going on here? You know, uh, G Money Cone, and we got uh, Bob Talbot. Bob, Bob Talbot. Bob Talbot's in the house. That's All right. right. We got to let Talbot. Bob know what right. we got going on. All right, Bob. Well, we fixing to uh, put this. Uh, quarter inch chrome molly up on the uh, around the old bullhorns, and then we're gonna hit it with a little tick tick, a little tick tick with a ticky tick on the back side. Back side. Mm -hmm. Let's get with it. Right. Yeah, that'll work. Now, yeah. imagine that. See, that that's what you get from some education, edumacations. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Next. so listen, check it out. So we were over at uh, Category 5 Race Cars, and you know, safety's like big on Cody's priority list up top. Oh, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. It's way up there. <laughs> I almost drown every time I walk in there. You hey, know what I'm saying, yo? So we got Cody over there with the, the Sawzall with a pair of fishing flip-flops on. Oh, wow. No glasses. And he's looking at me while he's cutting. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. But he got the job done. Everything was going good. Big old Cody sack. Oh, yeah. He got big sack. Okay. Hey, he can get her done. Get her done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about that lunch today? Oh, I like the lunch today. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It's like it's like an air grinder. I mean, you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, but it's like. Wee -wee. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's right. 
Now, boys, the only thing we're gonna have to do, and I wanna get it fired up first before I do it, just wanna make sure I have no engine failures or anything going on, but we do have to take the transmission out of the car because we are switching converters, uh, switching stators. We're gonna test some new stuff this weekend. But uh, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna pull this uh, drive shaft tunnel out, take the transmission. Instead of dropping it through the bottom, we're just gonna pick it up, set it on the bars out here in the back. Go ahead and uh, drop the converter out. Don't let it hit the ground. Oh, no, 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 no. So. We're gonna go ahead and drop the converter out, change the stator, smack that thing back in there, throw that thing back inside there, and go out there and let us make a rip all three gears together. I like together. it when you smack it on the backside. Oh yeah, smack it on the backside. Oh, smack it on the backside. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Yes, what you doing? <laughs> I'm well on tabs on. Good old feet of sack. Go ahead. Right next to the fuel line. Yeah, hey, we go. Hey, we got some. We got some <laughs> av gas over here. We're gonna be well next to. Av gas. What up, Slink? What's up? Show him tattoo. Yeah, you need to get in bed, bro. That's a whole lot of loving. Slink said he's ready so to where rock. Where you take a shower? Are you go to your mom's house every night. No, I don't. Where are you showering? Yeah. I don't shower. You're in the water hooked up. Yeah, dude, I got whatever we can. I just put it in the tank. You got some fucking shoes. Socks, a little bit of trash laying outside yeah, the trailer. Yeah. Listen, don't yeah, at me, motherfucker. Pick your shit up. And don't need to be laying on the ground. You gotta pick your shit up. You got a little bit behind the house. You got all kinds of shit laying around there. We're not doing that no more. I made, the, I made the uh, your personal slingster area. Keep it clean. Because <laughs> if you don't, it'll be all bad. I'm gonna take all my dumpsters and everything. I'm gonna open up your camper door. I know you lock it, but I can get it off. I'm gonna throw everything inside the fucking camera. I know, it's no fuck no more. Okay, well good. I'm glad to know that. Just pick your shit up. Because I know all this property, and I don't want to be fucking uh, picking up your shit. It's, I got. I already got to pick up shit as it is. Oh, Slink was inside there smacking old Bigum down, and Jeez. not and knocked the knocked the fucking camper off the, the wood. Jack, off the jack. jack. Slink wasn't playing. <laughs> Big Slink, you were in there. Knocking that shit down. <laughs> Slink yeah. said. Thanks, Slay. Take it, Bigum. We call her Bigum. Bigum? <laughs> Bigum. See you, Slay. Damn, Slay. See you in the morning, Slay. Yeah. All right, boy. Be good. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we got old Denny Bear. He's underneath the lid right there. Check out that lid. Denny Bear, how long you had that hat for? Ooh, the hat or the welding hood? Both. Uh, two years few years but we are welding some titanium tabs on the titanium fuel cell mount up front and don't worry boys we made sure we drained all the fuel out because we are high on safety around oh, here oh yeah high on safety so we're gonna go ahead flip the camera around a little bit give y'all a little video old dennis act knocking the weld out Peter, they're trying not to laugh he don't want to move <laughs> it's like old chicken it's like old chicken neck <laughs> all right hold on Love my nuts <laughs> <laughs> we gotta line them up again. Line them up, boys. Line them up, boys. Gotta line them up, knock them out. Oh, with two tree bots. Long way back in a short time. That's the one right there. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Oh Lord, have mercy. That's it. I wish I had a hood on that I could see. I'd like to see how beautiful that thing lays down. Mm mm mm. We're gonna be able to stack some weight on the front of this thing, boys. But when we got when we got them little small tires in the back, you gotta add some weight to the front. Tap it up, tap it up. That's right. A little tap, tap. That's right. That's right. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Oh man, I tell you what, guys. If y'all haven't noticed, there's a. Maybe a few brewskis have gotten a little bit of sippy sippy going sip it, on. Sip it, on the tippy tippy. Tippy tippy. You got the tip rolling in down there? Look at that. Check that thing out right there. I'm gonna go hey, ahead and knock out on one of these wells down there. Gotta keep the gas there. on it. Gotta, gotta wait till it cools down. That, oh, yeah, that's oh, the, yeah, that is the key point. That's right. That, that gives you the strength. Strength like Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. Mm. Do, do the woo. Old nature boy. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. You like it? Look at that inside like there. I ain't gonna be able to see tonight. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> I, I was worried about that because even though you close your eyes, it still gets you. It's like the boogeyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you close your eyes, it still gets you. Wake up in the morning and your eyes. You remember? Go. You remember Freddy Krueger and Jason were back in the day? I used to have <laughs> nightmares. Those two motherfuckers. <laughs> Freddy Krueger had them scissor hands. <laughs> Jason had that machete, and no matter what you did, I never understood the movies. There was like 12 of them gone. No matter how fast you ran, the motherfucker would walk and still catch you. <laughs> that bitch would walk and catch you. I didn't go in the woods until I was like 15 just because of that shit. Damn, damn. Tell them, we got the old shop talk going on out here. Lay, laying it in there. Laying Lay it, it in, in there. there. That ain't the only thing you laying down. I heard that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Bloop. 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 Big booty hog. That yeah. one. Hey, that one's been a while. That, we ain't said that one in a while. What's big, the what's big, the one? Big. Big booty. Big booty Hey, what's the other one? Kick it out side pocket. Kicking the side pocket head, motherfucker. Now say it slow so they understand it. Kicking the side pocket head, bitch. Damn. Damn straight. Damn. Look at it, boys. Check out them tabs. Mm. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And New remember, weight. Remember, it's empty, so it's more explosive. See, we don't do anything that safe. You got to make sure if you do it, you do it right. So yeah. if it exploded. You know who it reminds me of? Oh, water boy. Nope. You ever seen the movie water boy? <laughs> my mama said. My mama said you the devil. My mama said. My mama said the alligator got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Hey, hey, I can't play no foosball. Mama, 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 mama won't let me play foosball. <laughs> yeah. And we also weld these up over here, boys, as you can see. Goes over the bullhorns. We're going to go ahead and get this stuff cooled off. Take the front end down. Set it on the car, let Denny Bear run through, knock it out real quick. You know, R&R &R Fab coming over here, late time hours. Got it all knocked out. All right, boys, so we got the one side cut out. Old Dennis Sack, he's on the other side, getting it cut out right now. So this thing can lay down perfectly. Lay down. Once he gets this thing cut down, what's that tool called right there, Dennis? It's just a little, uh, Matco makes it. Uh, it's a little... reciprocating saw. Yeah, re and thank you, Pete. It's reciprocating. It goes, almost goes for both ways. Almost, it's almost like... bisexual. Right. All right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, almost like uh, impossible. Oh, oh no, slow as possible. as possible. Say, 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 any squirrels. <laughs> also, boys, I got something new for y'all. I know it has. Drove me crazy, it's probably drove y'all crazy. The two different color oranges from the hood scoops. That's right. I had a hood scoop that did not match the same orange that was on the car. That's because the scoop was painted and the car was wrapped. It was very hard to be able to match it. So, you know what we did? We went ahead and took some of y'all's advice and we switched the color. Let me go ahead and switch this camera around real quick. Also, I got a new sponsor that came on board. He will get the whole hood scoop, but I wanna go ahead and congratulate him. Y'all wait till the following video. We'll have the sticker on. We're gonna give him a big introduction to the channel and welcome him aboard. The whole Swan Gang crew, we wanna thank him for being able to come on board with us this year. All right, Nutsack. Black Scoop Boy. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. You got, you got. Hey, you know how the, the dude that holds the dollar over you? Yeah, you gotta be a little quicker than that. <laughs> you gotta go a little wider than that. I gotta creep mm. up on it. You gotta get it. You don't want to cut too much because if you cut too much, we can't add back. That's right. So take, take that white marker and uh, oh. write y'all saw. Pete, go ahead and let them know what's up with your stance. What you got going on? What you thinking about? Tick tick. Tick tick. Tick tick. Yeah, yeah, oh, with yeah. it. Where it's we going? going low. It's going low. I wish there was places opened up right now so we go have fun. We having fun right here. Yeah, we it don't need to go any, nowhere. It don't get any better. Than don't this. get no better than this. That's right, boys. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I like that black hood scoop though. You like that? I black? like the black hood scoop. It's that matte black, so it matches the it, matte swan it, gang on the side. It fits it. And we'll have an orange sticker Ooh. slapped on the side of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 Don't cut yourself on that bullhorn now. That thing will slice you wide open too. Come on, boss. Call the day. All right, boys. So we finally got the front end on. Zeus down. What you think about it, old Peter Sack? I think it's a hell of a car, man. Hell of a car. We got the bull horns on. Don't worry, boys. I wasn't able to get it done for this weekend, but we will have them polished up. I need somebody that can polish very well. Y'all know anybody that does good polishing? I know this girl. Up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody that can do mirror finish, but I actually like the black hood scoop. I think it looks good. I think you should keep the black hood scoop. Yep, it's it going to match it. it it's going to match the color on the side. It matches the American made, American paid on the roof. Because you know, everything we got is made here in America. That's correct. You from America, right? Mm -hmm. America. Yeah. America. So uh, we got the bull horns on, boys. Check them boys out. I can't believe, dude. I, I want to thank. Dennis Rogers, R and R Fab, coming over here knocking this stuff out for me. Got them things, Dane Barry. How high you think them flames gonna be this weekend? Oh, over the roof. Hell yeah, that's what we're shooting for. Right. Flames over the roof. I'd like to be there. I want to see that. I want to see the flames going out. Friday night, Bradenton Motorsports Park. Where's that? Friday night, Bradenton Brains, Motorsports Park. Bradenton Motorsports Park. Down in Bradenton, Florida. That's in Bradenton. Yup, and we'll be out there. Testing on 275s, little donuts. That's right. Letting go the button and watching the flames go woof. Woof. Like a, like a big bear. Woof. Anybody you want to say anything for the channel? Uh, we did it. We did it. We ready. Mm -hmm. We're right. going to be heading back over to R&R &R Fab later on this week, boys. So I can give y'all a quick little update on uh, the, the F100. The Le Mans. And the Le Mans. And the 64 Le Mans. Yup. So we will be heading on over there. Plus, we just going to do a couple of more shop talk videos. I know this is going to be a long video, boys, but a lot of shop talk. <laughs> well, we ready. All right, guys. So we're going to end this video out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you haven't done it already, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Drop a comment down below. What's some things you want to see on this channel? What can I bring to y'all? Because you know I love interacting with the fans. I love hanging out with y'all. I love being able to talk with y'all. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see more of. We're going testing this weekend. I've done said it a hundred times in this video, but I'm going to say it again. We're heading down to Bradenton Motorsports Park. We're going to have some fun on 275s. We got Mike Starvino's with the 69 Camaro coming up from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So he can test as well because we are getting ready for two weeks away. We will be in Darlington, South Carolina. That's right, boys. If y'all got nothing going on, make sure y'all come out to the racetrack. Have some fun. Come hang out with the crew. Sit inside the car. Come talk with me. Big country. Big daddy Brian. We got Eric. We got Art. We might be able to get Dennis sack up there with a little bit inside of Pete. You know, Peter Balls. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But we're going to go ahead and end this video out, boys. Don't forget, head on over to www.swangang.com. Pick up your merchandise. Every $10 you spend gives you two free tickets to be able to come hang out with me. Oh, Denny Bear. Oh, Petey. Big country. Big Daddy Brian, Eric, Art, Tony, all of us. We will be here. Fly you in on a Friday. We will fly you back out on a Sunday. I guarantee you're going to have a hell of a time. We are an awesome crew, and I want y'all to be a part of it as well. So we'll see y'all at the next video.